Swimming at Great Falls National Park in Potomac Gorge area is prohibited. The water is so strong it will suck you down. Can you hold your breath long enough to wait for the rescue boats? To wait for the helicopters? Let's find out. Start holding your breath now. Water is the most powerful force on earth, and when you get that combined with the beautiful rocks, the metamorphic rocks, the Great Falls, and an 80-foot drop in less than a mile, you get incredibly powerful currents, and swift forces that are way powerful than any human can possibly imagine. Think like, oh, it's gonna be all right, and you get in, the next thing you know, you're trying to swim across, and you're already two miles down the, down the river, and, you know, and that's where you get yourself in a jam. People sometimes underestimate how powerful the river is. You've got thousands and thousands of pounds pushing against you, and there's very little you can do about it. Uh, the biggest mistake people make here is it's got to be going into the water. It's got to be swimming. It's now been over 30 seconds. Are you still holding your breath? A lot of the current is not just going downstream, but rather it is going in all different directions. Uh, if you are unfortunate enough to fall into the river, the river has very powerful undertows. Uh, some of those currents act like a washing machine where they'll spin you around and around and won't be able to get any air as you come up to the top. It's now been over a minute. The possibility that you are still holding your breath is very slim. My biggest fear is that they'll take it too far and try to push the limit and do something that's not safe. Uh, I think it's a sense of invincibility. Uh, I look back at some of the things I did when I was a little bit younger and thinking now, man, I could have easily gotten hurt. I think that mindset tends to get people in trouble. It's not a matter of skill, it's not a matter of strength, it's not a matter of uh, accepting a challenge. Nobody comes here uh, with the intention to die. Uh, nobody enters the river here as a fisherman or as a, uh, a person trying to cool off on a hot day hoping to die. Um, Nobody slips into the river with the intention here of hoping to die. Uh, but we have people of all ages, from people that were here celebrating their birthday who wanted to get a nice picture next to the river, uh, a husband on his honeymoon that slipped in, uh, a man and his, and his wife here fishing, uh, and she swept, uh, slipped in right next to him. None of those people thought that they wanted to die, but they all did. If you've been trying to hold your breath this long, you'd be dead. If you do slip into the river and you're caught in the current, uh, that the correct position to take would be getting on your back with your feet pointed downstream, try to conserve your energy and slowly work your, your way into a calm area of water. Uh, there's no reason to have to feel like you're risking your life to enjoy such a beautiful place. Uh, be safe uh, and just respect what you see in front of you. The river is very powerful. It's very easy to get in trouble. My advice would be to enjoy it from a safe distance. There's plenty of other places I would recommend to go swimming. So just enjoy it from the trails, enjoy the nature. Please come out to Great Falls National Park. Enjoy the Potomac Gorge from a distance, but next time you think about swimming, don't hold your breath. If you fall in the river, you will die.